Hi guys, I am here with Demon Hio uh, at the end of Summer Jam 8. Mm -hmm. And I know that you had competed in both the Ultra Street Fighter 4 tournament and Marvel vs. Capcom. How do yep. you think you did today? Or this weekend? Uh, <laughs> As a whole? <laughs> no, really. Did I do this today? No. Um, <laughs> actually, uh, in Street Fighter, I could have done better. Uh, I got to my winner's qualifiers in my pools, mm -hmm. and I lost 2-1 uh, to uh, Alex Smith, who was a good friend of mine. Uh, really close match, uh, actually really close match. Just went down to the last round. Uh, both had like a pixel of health, and I made one wrong decision and got the last hit, so I lost that. Uh, and then I went to losers qualifiers, and then I lost to a friend of his who also played the same character which he played, which was Abel. And I had played Seth and Blocka during those matches. Well, Seth during Alex Smith match and then Blocka during his friend's match. And I lost to him last round. <laughs> little bit of life, almost the same exact situation. So I was like, uh, didn't do too good in that. Um, but Marvel I did fairly well in. Um, Could have even done better, but I actually got to... Uh, top 16 winners. Uh, I had to find a lot of really, really good players to get there. Um, and actually, I, get, I think my biggest win personally was actually beating Noel Brown. I have, a lot of people don't know this, but like I've never ever beaten him in Marvel 3, ever, since the game has been out. He's always, it could have been, sometimes it's like 3-1, sometimes it's last game, but whatever it is, he always beats me. So today I was like, and they were like, yo, so your first top 16 match is you versus Noel. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to lose again. <laughs> it's like, this is, I can't beat this guy. And me and Insane were talking because he can't beat him either. He's like, yo, you got to fight our demon. Like, he's like, I'll see you in loser break. I was like, yeah, I'll see you there, Steve. You know, it's whatever. <laughs> Noel's just going to burn me up with Phoenix and, you know, like he always does. <sighs> so I went upstairs, I went up on stage with like no confidence at all. And then when I looked back at the crowd and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of losing to this guy. I have to beat him. And if I'm going to beat him, I have to beat him now while I'm in winner's bracket. Um, so I just, I don't know, I turned on the switch that I haven't turned on since my Marvel 2 days. And I just, I don't know, I felt like a different person and I just beat him. And like every game was just one, two, three. Apparently I think I had one of the, one of the fastest times in Marvel history, which was seven seconds. So I actually was able to defeat him the first game of seven seconds and start off with a perfect. Mm. So I had a lot of confidence going into the rest of the matches. Second match was um, kind of like a lot of back and forth struggle. Mm. Uh, I actually thought I was going to lose. and uh, I made some smart decisions and was very fortunate and I came back and won. So it was 2-0 and then the last game I kind of went berserk and just did everything and it worked out. So I was really happy with that. Um, and I think that put me in uh, winners, well, top eight qualifiers. So I had to play one more to get to the winners top eight, and I had to fight another good friend of mine, Jay Rosa, uh, who I also play all the time. Me and Jay Rosa beat each other back and forth, so I know it was a toss-up. Um, he got me the first game, I got him the second game, and he beat me again. I think it went 2-2. I might be mistaken, I'm not sure, but I think it went to the last game. Um, I played it very well up until the point where I had to make one crucial decision and in this game, especially in Marvel, like every decision, like as you can see from uh, no, the finals yeah. and everything else in the top eight, like you, you drop one combo, that's yeah, it. You so drop one combo or you, or you <laughs> yeah. let like a certain character live, like you can lose the whole game. So it's really crazy, like fast paced, intense game. Uh, I should have snapped in his strider, but instead I chose to kill Morgan because, you know, Morgan's like fills the screen up and she's crazy, she won't let you move. And I play Wolverine uh, as one of my main characters, so I kind of wanted to get that character out and I killed her, but then Strider came in and then bit me in the butt and ended up losing. So I was like, you know, I was kind of disappointed in myself because I know I could have I uh, won that if I made a better decision, but it is what it is. Uh, and then I played um, Cosmos, uh, who's actually an up and coming player from New York uh, for the first time. And we went 2-2 two, two to the last game, and I made another crucial mistake where I should have killed Morgan this time around instead of killing Virgil, and then she came back to bite me in the butt, and I lost. Uh, so I think I tied for ninth along with Chris G and um, a few other players as well. But I think I did fairly well. I didn't really come to play. I just came to chill. 
I just wanted to hang out with friends, get some drinks, laugh it up, see people I haven't seen in a while, and, and just play in the tournament, whatever. But getting that far without even like trying as hard as I normally would have was really impressive for myself. So, oh, definitely. I yeah, agree. gave me a lot of confidence to keep on actually practicing and get better and keep playing. So, hopefully, I'll be able to attend um, more tournaments from here on in because uh, I've been taking a break with work and everything. So, uh, I don't know. Hopefully I can keep traveling and doing better. Uh, going off of that, I know I had spoken to you earlier and you said that your current sponsor is uh, AG. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, you know, how they approached you and when that occurred. <sighs> wow, that was... Uh, that probably happened back in... I don't know, like maybe 2009, I would say. Right when Street Fighter 4 was just getting big because Street Fighter 4 came out in 2008. Uh, the people that actually own the, uh, the team, which is uh, Kazi and Annie, mm -hmm. uh, which is two good friends of mine from uh, New Jersey, they started it up. You know, at first it was just like a little fun little team group thing, and then it became like bigger as time went on, and we got sponsorships and whatnot. Uh, Mad Cast is one of our prime uh, is one of our uh, prime sponsorships, so they help us out with like you know free sticks and they, you know, helps in the players places like that. Uh, Big E Gaming is also a part of the sponsorship, so he helps us out a lot uh, and many others. But um, they came to me back in about 2009 uh, and just, I don't know, they just asked if I wanted to be on the team and I was like, well, I don't have any other sponsors or teams, so why not? So I joined them and a lot of other players came on. Actually, Marlon Pye was on our team for a while. Uh, there's also Dr. Chaos who was on um, we actually got awarded the best Ken in the world at one point at EVO. Uh, I think that was like <laughs> mid-2000 as well. Um, and a bunch of other players like Native Impact, who just <laughs> recently got second place in Ultra. Uh, yeah, that was that was very impressive uh, <clears throat> yeah. performance from him uh, yes. for the whole tournament, but especially today, I think, with that. No one was really expecting T Hawk to even make nope. it to a joke. <laughs> Nobody a like major especially T Hawk. Like he did get a lot of buffs. Don't get me wrong, but it's still T Hawk, you know, he has like thousands of counter picks in this game. So like and is native, he's a kid. Like I don't even think he's like eighteen yet. So No no no, he's sixteen. Sixteen. Like I didn't even know that and he's on my team. Like that's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so but like he's been doing good recently though. He's he plays at um next level a lot. Um, and he's been grinding, man. He's been grinding a lot. And to beat Ricky Ortiz, who's like one of the best players in the world. Yeah, I think that was probably uh, one of the most hype matches yeah. of today was watching that. I don't think anybody was expecting that. It was so close and... Yeah. Huge. Like, that was amazing. I couldn't believe that at all. So, uh, very, very proud of him. So, that's another good represent representation for our team. Um, but but yeah, like I joined the team mainly because um I don't know, I just I just like positivity and I like when a group wants to get together, have fun, play games, compete, uh, and just build as as players and as a group. And they you know, uh, I've been in the scene for a while. So I mainly came in when uh Marvel Two started. Oh like I figured out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Spider-Man, don't fail yeah, no. me. Don't fail me now. Fail me. <laughs> I'm gonna web up there. No! <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I do not enter Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bloody crazy game. Why do you never get any more? No, it's not PD, so I'm gonna... Uh, no. I'm gonna... Yeah. Where's oh, the oh, It's oh, on the oh, stick! Oh, 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 Congratulations on your win against yeah, me. I've been <laughs> working so hard for that. The game that I like, clearly like, don't uh, master what, what, at all. But thank you again the for the. Oh. <laughs> thank you again for. <laughs> thank you again for the interview and good luck in this upcoming. <laughs> You're welcome. Emily. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all. Thank you. <laughs>